this is the K10 Mini Plus Personal Brewing System by Keurig. This actually fits better with smaller spaces. It's more compact. It's good for traveling or um, anytime you just need a small little unit that you need to take with you and you still want to be able to use your Keurig system. This actually is my favorite unit. I had a little bit of a larger one. It did have more features, but I never really used them that often. And so this one became the unit that was my go-to. The Keurig uses what they call their K-cup system. It's a small cup that has um, a single serving of coffee in it. It's plastic on the outside and it's sealed on the top really well to give a little bit of pressure in there. And on the inside is actually a small um, coffee filter. So what happens is when you put it into your system, it pierces the bottom and the top. So it puts coffee, or hot water, excuse me, in through the top, which does filter through this cup and it kind of holds a little bit of pressure in there and then comes out the small um, opening that they've made on the bottom right into your cup and they say that they've kind of designed this to give you the best cup of coffee with the best uh, filtering time and uh, so on and so forth so um, the one thing about these cups is that you can't recycle them and that is something that they have worked on in their new uh, 2.0 systems their carafe cups actually can be taken apart and recycled but they haven't done so yet in their smaller ones so this would actually fit right inside the cup holder. You place it right in, pull down the lid, and then brew your cup of coffee. When you put the water into the machine, there's actually an opening back here. In this particular unit, you pour your desired cup of water in here, and it doesn't have a reservoir. So the size of water that's in your cup is the size of water that you put in here, and then that will make the amount of water that comes out. So you put it in the back, and then you open the top and when you open the top it allows the water to drain into the heating reservoir and that's how you would use one of their K-cups. Another option with a Keurig is to brew your own coffee and you use that by getting one of these reusable um, sort of a K-cup emulator and you open it up on the inside and then you put in your coffee. Now this has a stainless steel filter on the outside. It's like a little mesh filter and then it's plastic all around here and this particular one advertises that the way that the water goes in here um, it disperses out like an umbrella rather than straight down in. It's supposed to give a little bit of a uh, better um, coffee. What I also like to do is I like to use the small filters. Now these are made by, uh, I believe it's pronounced Melita and they actually make uh, something called a java jig which these fit into and that's supposed to emulate a k-cup as well it's sort of a plastic um, sort of container and then these coffee filters fit right inside so um, here's a good example of how that would work let me focus in but I'm actually going to use them for something different I'm going to use them to use this. So what I've done is I've put the filter in there and you sort of have to fold the sides over just a hair on there and that's okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in about one to one and a half tablespoons of my regular coffee right inside. And I actually have that measured out here and I'm going to go ahead and put I that in. I have it in the uh, filter here and obviously you can buy whatever kind of coffee you want when you use this. Weaker or stronger like the lighter roast or the medium or darker roast. You can buy decaf which I have over here for the evenings and regular. Um, and you can also adjust it by how much you put in here. So if you want to fill it up to the top of this little ridge inside of there then you might get a stronger um, brew. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up make sure that it's completely sealed and it only fits in the unit one way it has these sort of little lips here so it fits right inside there and then I'm going to open the back and I have a cup here of cold filtered water I'm going to put it right in there and you do want to use cold water or at least room temperature sometimes I use and then as I said when you open this top you can hear the water going down into the heating reservoir. This is almost like the release mechanism there for the water. Push your power on. And it's got a nice little indicator here. Let me move you over where you can see here. This is telling you that you need to open the back and put in the water because I waited to push my power button until after I had done that so that I could show you. So when that happens, just open everything up again 
let the machine think you're letting the water filter down and then it will stop. This will start to illuminate in the blue which means it's ready to brew. Push the button and the red shows you that it's heating up and as soon as it heats up it's going to start to make your coffee. Now this is not as fast as the one that I had before because again this is their more base model um, but it's still quick enough for me. So it's going to go ahead and heat that up, brew my coffee and then we'll see how it came Here out. Here we are brewing a cup of coffee probably within a minute or less and it looks pretty good. Smells delicious. Let's go ahead and put you back. And it doesn't take long to brew. Now if you're using different size of cups, this can accommodate for that as well. This tray will hold a standard size cup. If you remove the tray, it gives you a deeper um, area to go ahead and put a cup in. And then if you have a really large mug, the entire tray comes out completely and there is a tray on the bottom to put the larger type of cups. Now there actually is some water in here because some of it does sort of come back down and you just dump that. This right here, in case you're wondering, is a little um, indicator that will float up when this tray becomes full. So that way you're not going to be running over onto your counter unless you just ignore that. So I'm going to go ahead and push that back in and that's pretty much how you can use the Keurig uh, K10 Mini Plus personal brewing system. You might be wondering how easy these are to clean up. That's one of the beauties of using the little filter is when I'm done brewing my coffee, you see it right in there, you can just dump it in the sink, rinse it off, and because I've used the filter, there's really not a lot of cleanup in there and it's ready to go for the next run. You can also use these to make loose tea. I haven't tried that, but um, I don't see why that wouldn't work. I want it to steep a little bit, which is why I prefer to put my tea into a teacup, which brings me to another little point of the Keurig K10 system. Now this system does not advertise hot water on demand. Their higher end units, specifically their 2.0 version, do advertise that. But if I'm wanting to make some hot apple cider or some instant oatmeal or brew some hot water for tea, I just fill my cup with water going to turn on the unit, put it right into the reservoir. Here's an example of a cup that's a little bit large for the first tray. So I'm going to use the second tray in that case. Let the water cycle down. And press my brew button. And in the same amount of time as it would take to brew a cup of coffee, I'll get a cup of hot water that I can use for any purpose that I need. It's also the way that you're going to want to clean your machine when you're wanting to run a cleaning cycle. So those are some little tips on using the Krug system other than using it for coffee.